Hi, it's Mary, back with the Paper Turtle, and I'm here with another haul video for you. And I've got, oh, some books and a variety of things, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. First one is a book called Leaves of Gold, an inspirational classic of our time. And I got this. It's got a library pocket in it. I like that. But it's got these really pretty pictures in it. If you can see them. There's all kinds of nice images. And this one is dated 1996. I thought was pretty. I don't know why this was gifted to someone, but there's a library card in it. I thought that was a little odd. I don't know. It's a library from a church. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So then I have this one. It's uh, Mother, Tell Me Your Story. It's one of those journal books. And it's it's actually sealed, so it is brand new. And let's take a look at it. Oh, it's spiral bound. And it has questions in it and journaling pages. Now, what I do with these well you know what I do with these with the pages themselves I use them on the back of journaling cards and tags but when I have the journals with the questions in it like this I actually use those questions as prompts to myself I have a journal that I write in that has where I have these questions that I've taken from these types of books and I just I cut the question out and glue it onto the page and then answer the question and that's just how I use one of my journals. So these will get used both the questions and the pages in it. So that that's pretty good. This book I thought was cute. It's called My Favorite Book. It is no copyright in it at all. Um, oh, nineteen seventy three. And I just thought the pictures in it were really cute. They're those old colored pictures. Some of them are like a solid color and some of them are um, colored color. Very cute. This is my favorite book. This is me. This is the way I write my name. I like that. <laughs> Fashion sewing for everyone. I guess I got this for the images. Borrowed from the boys. Yeah, I'm not really sure why I picked this up. Images aren't that great in it. There's a few. Yeah, there's a few I can probably use. I have to stop buying books. I went to put away the last batch of books that I showed you in the last haul video. And I have, I've run out of room. I, I have overflown from my room into the next room. And I've run out of room in the other room. That's bad and I have to stop. This is 1974. I really have to stop because I just, I literally have no more room. I'm done. I, I, I can't, I can't keep buying. <laughs> the Gardener's Bug Book. I thought this book was pretty cool. Um, I didn't pay that for it. I only pay a dollar for books. Books that I'm going to cut up, I'll only pay a dollar for. 
1973 is the fourth edition of this book. And look at those pictures. <laughs> I don't know how much I will use book bugs in my books, but they're kind of cool. And there's um, drawings and there's those colored pictures. and There's a lot of really cool pictures in this book. Look at that. I like that one. And I picked up one of these. Again, I don't know why. I've got a couple of these. But they have really good pictures in them. And they're small pictures that you can use on tags and, and decorating and stuff. And then, of course, the um, definitions are always fun. You know, whatever your, whatever your book is about, you can find a definition for. And they're, they're basic, simple definitions. So, here's a pelican. I like pelicans. So, I just thought that this was would be a fun book to cut all the images out of and add to my huge collection in there. I'm almost, I'm, I'm just done buying books. I just can't buy anymore. Okay. Let me see. What is this? This is not for junk journaling. What is it? Oh, I forgot I bought these. These are... I thought these were super cute. Look at those. Bought them for 50 cents each. I just thought they were cute. I'm going in my yard sale. <laughs> we have been, my husband and I have been doing some yard sales. Um, well, we've done one and we have another one coming up. Um, I think I've mentioned before that he makes walking sticks and he has an overabundance of them because he's given them to everybody that he knows already and now he's got more than he knows what to do with so we decided to do some yard sales and um, they're the community type yard sales where you know you buy table space and then go set up with all these other people. And so, um, we did one and he was selling his walking sticks and I was trying to sell some of my Raggedy Ann collection and some other things. Um, and there was like hardly any traffic there at all. It was, it was kind of discouraging, but he did sell some sticks, even though there wasn't much traffic. So next weekend we're doing one at a place that'll be busier and have much more traffic and it's all weekend long. So we're hoping that he'll be able to sell some of his sticks there and i am going to try to sell a few journals that i've made i don't know how well that's going to go over in that type of setting but i'm going to try it anyway and we'll see okay so here's some cards and i am really not sure what the the picture on these cards is um i don't know what this says I don't, I'm not even sure what language it is. So if you know, um, comment below and tell me. It looks like it's S-C-U-L-L-I, maybe. I'm not sure. This looks like a pig and some kind of bird and horns. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And then this one is like a dove or almost the head looks like a chicken, but that looks like some kind of dove. I don't know. I thought they were different, so so I got them because they're cards. <laughs> and I had to get these cards. Look at these cute little raccoons. <clears throat> I'm doing a woodland journal. Is that not perfect? I love them. You know, I... Um, along with books that I don't pay much for, I don't pay much for my cards. Um, I will pay 50 cents a pack or a dollar for a double pack and that's it. Unless there's something super special. I was at a thrift store the other day. They had double packs of cards like this. No different than this. No, nothing special. Just double packs of cards. 
eight dollars they wanted for them. I was like, you are out of your mind. Eight dollars? You're kidding me. I couldn't believe it. Um, this one I thought was really pretty. There's two two decks here of the same um, image. It's a little country chair scene. Very pretty. I hope I'm holding this where you can see it. I, you know I have a problem with that. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm not. But the second pack was never opened and the other pack is they're pretty they're fairly new. I don't know. Oh, there's a date, 2002. And these um I guess these are the two that are in there. There's this one, really pretty. And this one, these would go good in a Victorian journal or a floral journal or I don't, all kinds of different things I can use these for. They're so pretty. I might put some of those in my Etsy shop. I think those might sell fairly well. I've sold some cards in my Etsy shop. Um... I'm, I'm too lazy to maintain my Etsy shop. I, I'm trying and I've got um, so much I can put in there. It just... And then these. We got Cardinals and Blue Jays. I thought those were very pretty. They're in a nice tin too. And see, I only pay a dollar. I don't pay more than a dollar for two decks. They can sit there on the shelf because I don't need them. Um, I have these little note cards. I thought that they were very pretty. Um, these are like local birds. We have these, a lot of these around here. Oops. They're just blank cards. And envelopes. A little kitty applique. Cute. I got a Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs golden book. And I see there's like indentations in the book. Like something heavy was laid on it or something. But you know what? I don't mind little flaws. Like that in these books because they're used books they're not going to be perfect this one is 1984 oh the back cover has a little tear in it but otherwise the book is in excellent condition looks like it's never been read do kids read books anymore do parents read to their kids i don't know i don't know my my collection of books that were my kids when they were kids is so well worn and now my grandkids are reading them i i don't understand why i find so many books in unused condition i have a couple of patterns i just thought that the things on them were cool i just noticed this is bug eaten that's kind of gross hopefully inside it's not <laughs> and this one. Oh, this one I got for all of these little dresses here for the a journal I'm working on. Um, what is this? A quilt stencil collection. I'm sure I picked this up for the journal that I'm working on that I'm almost done with now, so I don't know if I'm gonna end up using this. But it's got this pin on it. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I have all these things there. I don't know why I picked them up. Crafts for all seasons. That's also for the book I'm working on. That I probably won't use anything out of this either. So I'm going to have all these books laying around that I'll probably never use. I don't know. 
I gotta stop. Eh. What's the cover look like? Plain cover. Not, I'm not thrilled about that. some of these purchases. Okay, this is stationary. And I like the folder. I can use that folder and make a little trifold thingy. So it's got um, these little sheets of stationery. It's got these envelopes that are decorated. Thought those were pretty. And then it's got labels over here, to and from labels and little ceiling labels. And a little folder thing. I thought that was cute. I don't think I paid too much for it. I'm sure I didn't. And what is this? What kind of paper? Just paper. Okay. I got paper. That was an estate sale find, I'm sure. Sometimes I pick stuff up if they've got like a whole bunch of stuff. I probably picked it up with these things and bundled it all together. Yeah, this is just, this is cardstock. It's pretty heavy. It's not scored or anything. It's just heavy cardstock. Okay. And th I know this is scored cardstock. I have some of these, but I have them in different colors. So um, I don't know what I paid for these because they were $1.99 at. That's an old Tuesday morning sticker, I think. But um, I use these. I use these both in journals and on the very rare occasion that I make cards. And then I have these animal cards that I thought were cute. No flash cards. Two different animals on them. looks like my Mishy. So there's quite a few in here, all different kinds of animals. And these are coasters. And I thought that they might be kind of fun. They are um, Pennsylvania Dutch coasters. <clears throat> Let's see if I can save this packaging here. Because that's kind of cute. Oh, come on. What kind of staples did they use? My goodness. Wow. These are like super duper strong staples. My, these little scissors I have are super sharp. I don't know if you can see the tip on them. I asked my husband one time to sharpen them for me because they were getting kind of dull. And boy, did he sharpen them. And the, the tips on them are really, really sharp. I've stabbed myself a few times and it hurts. 
I'm sorry you have to sit here and watch me do this. But I don't, I'm trying to save, you know why I'm trying to save the packaging. Because that's what we do. There. See, now I have this cool uh, thing here. It's really not that cool, but <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's take a look at these coasters. It's got these Pennsylvania Dutch sayings on them. The hurrier I go, the behinder I get. Kissing wears out, cookery don't. Spritz the lawn. A plump wife and a big barn never did any man harm. We grow too soon, old, and too late, smart. Make with a smile for once. Some folks are wonderful nice. Oh, well, they'll be kind of fun to use, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Have you used toasters in your journals? Let me know how you use them. I'm thinking like a tuck spot. They're plastic on the back. So I'm thinking like a tuck spot, you know. They're cute. And... Last thing in my bag, I have a couple more things, but the last thing I have in the bag down here is this jar of buttons. And I don't think I paid too much for this because I don't, oh, okay, $2. I don't normally pay a whole lot for buttons, but when I find them at a cheap price, I'll grab them. And what, what I'm doing with my buttons, because I have so many of them, I'm going through and I'm picking out the ones that I think that I will use in my journals and I'm keeping those aside and putting the rest in jars and selling them at my yard sale because um, I don't need them all and I let my mother go through them because she collects buttons but the ones that I get that are cheap like this they've already been gone through and all the anything good is gone so um there's, there's really nothing collectible in here. But there's good things that I use in my journals. See, like some of these, they're, they're vintage, but they're not necessarily um, valuable, you know. But I can use them. And I like the ones, the little colored ones that are flat and don't take up a whole lot of space. Here's a square one. Like this I probably won't use because it's so fat. It's thick. So I would throw that in a jar. Um, some of the newer ones I would throw in a jar and get rid of. This is a different shape. It's an oval. So I like just to go through them and see what's in there. And, you know, you find there's some vintage ones in here. You find different things. that are These are fun, like things like these. And I've always had a soft spot for buttons because my mother always had a button, a tin. That she had an old, um, it was a candy tin actually, had candy on it. There's another oval one. Those are more modern. Um, and she always, it was always full of buttons. And when I was a kid, sometimes on a rainy day or something, if I got bored, I'd get the button tin out and play with the buttons. It just That's just what we did. And... My grandmother had a button tin, and um, they were they were sewers. They they both sewed, so they accumulated a lot of buttons. And I don't know. It's just something that we did. If I tried to pull out a button jar for my grandkids now and said, "Hey, do you want to play with buttons?" they'd, they'd look at me like I'd lost my mind. <laughs> I don't know if they'd know what to do with them. Although one time I think that my my mother had my granddaughter she was watching her for an afternoon 
And I think she did pull out some buttons and had her sit and play with buttons. And what she does is she'll bring out like a um, cupcake tin and have her tell her to sort the buttons and she sort them however she wants by color, by size or whatever she wants. And um, it does keep the kid entertained for a little while. Um, okay, I got just a couple other things. Hold on, I have to get them. They're over here. And you're probably saying, why don't you have them right next to you? Well, it's because I don't have room. I really literally don't have room. Um, and they're kind of bigger items, so... Ouch. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to put these things. Let me see if I can hold them in my lap, pull out a drawer, balance them on the drawer. <laughs> oh, if you could see, this is horrible. All right, so I have this. Um, sorry, I have something stuck to my hand. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'm so discombobulated. A um, Singer sewing series book. It's uh, in really, really good condition, except for that ring is bent or something. I'll have to see if I can fix that. Um, it is from 1972. I love the cards. I love the graphics. I love everything in these old sewing books. They're just very, very cool. And uh, there's like, I think there's a lot I could do with these. And then I would use the book itself as a journal. I, I'm working in one right now that I have covered completely. It wasn't wasn't this one. It was a different one. It was a cookbook. And I've, I've covered it completely and... I use some of the pages in it, but most of them I've taken out, and that's what I'm using as my own journal right now. But what I'm finding out is it's only going to hold just so much. And because um, these rings will only, you can only put so much in here before it, you just, it won't take anymore. So it's kind of limited in how much you can put in there. And I think when I'm finished with this one, I probably won't do another one for myself. I don't know. You know, if you're going to make it just, okay, this is my journal for this year and just use it for one year, it, it'd probably be really good. But if you're going to use it for, I don't know, an extended time or something, they don't hold that much. And here's another three ring binder. This one is Better Homes and Gardens Decorating Book. And this one is from... Sometime. 19... Well, it's got a couple dates in it. The first is 1956, and the last is 1968. So it's got the tabs, and it's got things all about decorating... Um, color facts. Look at those colors. <laughs> Tells you all about color. Oh, more about color. Very cool pictures in it. This one is not in as good a shape, but floors, carpet, windows, everything. I mean, it's <laughs> look at the paneling and the floors. I love it. I love these pictures. So, um, they're fun. They're, they're fun to, to play with and to decorate or to do whatever with. There's some piece of plastic right there. So, I have those. I picked up, I think this and all the other paper I got was all from the same estate sale. It's just paper. Um, the, the paper towards towards the bottom here, it's kind of a cream color and it has a nice texture to it. So these would make really good journaling pages. 
And if I dyed paper, they'd me probably take the dye really well. But I don't, so I'll just use those for journaling pages. <clears throat> and then the last thing that I picked up, yes, it really is the last thing, is <clears throat> this old scrapbook. Now, these were the kind of scrapbooks that I used to use. And I have a couple of scrapbooks that I used like this. And I picked this up because it's new. I mean, it's it's old new. Um, and I just thought, you know, maybe I can combine current scrapbooking, junk journaling, and an old scrapbook. And come up with something really cool. I think. I'm going to try it. Um, I miss scrapbooking the old way. And when I say the old way, um, I mean, we didn't put pictures in. I didn't put pictures in my scrapbook. It was all um, memorabilia and weird stuff. I put weird stuff in my scrapbook. Like um, the last day of school. In high school, I picked up a piece of chalk off the floor as I was walking out the door on the very last day of school, and I put that in my scrapbook. I have a nail from the sets of the play that we worked on. I have a chunk of my friend's pinto that was falling apart. Things like that I have in my scrapbook, you know, along with the usual ticket stubs and playbills and just, I don't know labels from beer bottles in college and just things like that that's what's in my original old scrapbooking and i miss that doing it that way and then i got into the current way of scrapbooking with pictures and embellishments and things like that and i love it and i do a lot of it or i, I used to i've slowed down now but i really do that's a hobby that i really enjoy because it combines my love of my pictures with my love of scrapbooking and then I um, learned about junk journaling and I fell in love with the junk journaling and that's kind of the same thing it's it, you're keeping your memorabilia and um, creating a journal and putting down your memories and it's a little piece of yourself that you're putting into a book and that's that's why I like it so I'm going to attempt to combine all of those things that I like into this type of a book I don't know if it'll work. I don't know how it'll come out, um, but I'm I'm gonna try it and and see what I do with it. It's kind of big. It's a little bulky, but um, I don't care. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna play with it and see what happens. And um, that is all I have for you today. And um, I've got to go do some more thrifting <laughs> before I can do some more um, videos. But uh, when I do, I'll get them out there for you and subscribe, like, do all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. See ya.